supply the information that we'll use to uh, be of more assistance to you. Uh, this, uh, you can see a link there, gckhq.org slash connect. Uh, you can use that to, uh, to supply the information that is needed. Those on the radio and television, uh, there is a telephone number also that is displayed on the TV there on your screen. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Uh, with that, you'll be able to uh, supply information. Give us your telef uh, your telephone number your name, your address. Uh, if you are writing on the uh, slips, please, preferably, you write in capital letters. If, you have, if they have not come to you, please indicate so that they'll be able to uh, reach you, give you the slip, so that you'll be able to supply this information. Write very clearly so that uh, we'll be able to uh, read the information that's on the, on the slip you are completing. Uh, please, our, our counselors, do that very quickly. And then um, once you are through, uh, our Father in the Lord, the convener of GCK, is still coming again to uh, reach out uh, to us with prayer for miracles. And I want to assure you that today, being the last day, you will never go without your miracle. He has assured us, and I am telling you, you have a testimony. So uh, please, our counselors, do that very quickly. Let's be sure that you have um, col collected the names of uh, the people, that's the, uh, the slips that, they, that, that you have given to them. Please do that very quickly. Our Father and the Lord will come in very shortly. And uh, you will uh, you, you, you be expecting that the, uh, the, the Lord will touch you in a special way. The miracles you need tonight will come your way in Jesus' name. Our counselors, I believe you have done that. I believe you have done that. If you have uh, finished with that, our Father in the Lord is coming now with the prayer for miracles. And I want you to believe God. You know, to, tonight being the last night, I can assure you, you will receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Our Father in the Lord is coming now, and you will receive your blessings. Praise the Lord. Your answer has come. You raise up one hand and you lay the other hand where you have the challenge. He knows you there, he sees you there, and the answer now is on the way. And before the final amen, look at it, he has done it. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have any challenge, any problem, any, any, any problem, any challenge. And this is the day of demonstration and manifestation. Father, in Jesus' name. Well, thank you and bless your name tonight for your goodness, for your power, and for your faithfulness. You cannot fail. You will not fail. I'm asking now, Lord, touch everyone in Jesus' name. Deliver, heal everyone in Jesus' name. Christ came for this purpose that he might destroy all the works of the devil. And I pray here to the right, to the left, to the center, to the front, everywhere, anywhere now, online, in the media, television, radio, anywhere, I pray the work of the devil will be destroyed in every life now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, deformity, you will correct. Deformity, you will remove. Sickness, you will take away. And all the things that are working about in the body, I command them come out in Jesus' name. 
I'm asking, Lord, that your mighty power will move everywhere. You are not a partial God. You do for A, you do for B, you do for C, you do for everyone. Therefore, Lord, I pray that you manifest your healing power in everyone right now in Jesus' name. That insanity, that brain problem, that demonic problem, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, for all those things walking about in the body, destroying their peace of mind, tearing them apart and torturing their lives. I command that evil power come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any kind of a heart problem or breathing problem and the palpitations there and the, the, the thing as if your heart will jump out, I command there will be peace in your system in Jesus' name. And I pray that all the anxiety and all the worry and all the fear, as if life is coming to an end, Lord, I pray, restore total health to everyone in Jesus' name. I'm asking, oh Lord, that the physical problem, tangible, that people feel, and the pain in their body, I pray, Lord, all the pains vanish away in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the hardness in that part of the body, in the tummy on that right hand side, I pray, Lord, you touch them right now and remove that hardness in that part of the body in Jesus' name. I pray that all the stiffness of the joints and all the pain of arthritis in their joints, in the elbows, in the shoulder, in the knee, even at the waist and at the ankle, Lord, I pray, lay your mighty hand on them and heal them perfectly. Make them whole in Jesus' name. Cancer, whatever stage of cancer that is, I pray that the mighty power of God will take that cancer away instantaneously in Jesus' name. Also, you are healed in Jesus' name. That I'm near, I pray the Lord will touch that I'm near and will remove that I'm near. You'll be free, totally free in Jesus' name the fibroid and any other swelling in the body, Lord, touch them by your mighty power for a definite miracle. Fibroid, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, like the child I spoke about that you created bone where there is no bone or any missing part of the body, whether in the bone, whether in the, in the stomach, whether it's kidney or whatever it is, any missing part of the body, create that now and supply in everyone in Jesus' name. Dumb person, speak out in Jesus' name. Deaf person, hear in Jesus' name. And the dim sight and the blindness, the cataract, the chroma, whatever it is, or it's at the back of the, the retina, I'm asking, Lord, you know where the problems are. Touch them, transform them, heal them in Jesus' name. I pray now for everyone, everyone from the top of there to the tip of the toe. I pray that the virtue of healing will pass through everybody right now. Everywhere here, everywhere online, everywhere in the congregation that are congregated, listening together, miracle everywhere now in Jesus' name. Power manifestation everywhere now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray nobody will go without their healing, without their deliverance, and without the manifesting of the power of God in their lives. Touch them, heal them, deliver them, set them free. Confirm the miracle in every life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is done. I said it is done. You see the healing there. And as you see the healing, you come out so we can have a glorious time of testimony sharing tonight. The moderating over service. The, the Lord has done it. I said the Lord has done it. You know, this is the final night, and I'm telling you, if you check up now, you discover it has been done. And you cannot afford to move because you, you hear testimonies tonight that will surprise you. So check up right now. And as you find the testimony has taken place, start coming out here. Start coming out. And 
those who have given their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't, you don't need to move because you come to the front here, there is a package for you which you collect tonight before you go. But I want to tell you now, the Lord has done it. Wherever you are, check up. You will see that the, the Lord has done it because the prayer of power has gone forth. It has already touched you. Begin to come forward. As you see the miracle there, begin to do what you couldn't do before. Check up. Check up. The prayer has been, uh, the prayer has already gone forth with power. It has touched your life. And you have received your miracle already. Begin to come out uh, with your testimonies. We want to hear your testimonies. And those who have just given their life to the Lord Jesus Christ, also you come to the front here, just to my front here, because you have a package to collect tonight before you go. Those who gave their life to the Lord Jesus Christ, right from day one, day two, up to day six, please come forward now. We are going to start hearing the testimonies very soon because the Lord has done so much in, our, in the lives of people. In fact, testimonies have been coming in. Right from the first day, testimonies have been coming in. And we have a lot of testimonies tonight. Don't go anywhere yet. This is the last night you cannot afford to go without listening to these testimonies. And you also come forward with your own. As you check up there and you find that the Lord has done it, begin to come forward. Uh, we, you know, this is celebration night. And we, the Lord is going to surprise us tonight with the testimonies that we will be hearing. While we are expecting that the online will soon give us testimonies, I want also the choir to prepare because you will, give, you will you do real celebration tonight as we listen to the testimonies. Now, let us hear from the online some of the things that the Lord has done while we are also getting ready for the people that the Lord has touched right here. Let's hear from the online now. The Word of God says in Psalm 145, verses 9 to 11, The Lord is good to all, and His tender mercies are over all His works. All thy works shall praise thee. They shall speak of the glory of the kingdom and talk of thy power. That's the reason why we are celebrating in the social media with Sister Joy Ugolo in uh, Ugeli Delta State, who was healed miraculously of a 35 years of abnormal menstrual flow. She suffered the irregular menstrual flow for 35 years. She started having a flow from the age of 12, flowing for eight days monthly until a Sabaji CK crusade in January 2023, when she turned 47. She believed God after the prayer of the GS on the second day of the crusade, and God had mercy on her and took away the abnormality. And now our flow lasts for four days and maximum five days since then. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Right now, we're going to listen to more testimony because God is doing great things through the social media. Let's listen. Praise the Lord. My name is Priscilla Bamidele from Abiyan One State. I want to testify with God's faithfulness in my life through the course of this GCK. God has been so good to me. I had a challenge starting from um, 2020. I used to feel pain in my breast. It started little by little, but it got very severe that I had to be using painkillers secretly. I was the type that would not use drug normally, even when I was sick. But as a, as a result of the pains, I resorted to using drugs. But I, and I couldn't tell anybody. I didn't tell my parents because I felt that the fear of them having to think that they were going to lose their daughter was much more than dying at last so i felt i was just i just kept trusting god that there was going to be a miracle along the line gck came in because i started feeling the pain around 2020 so gck came in and when i hear people share their testimonies i would also tell god that lord you may take this pain away i kept trusting i kept praying 
But this year, February, I just noticed that I was no longer feeling the pain. Before, I used to have boys in my armpit to come and go. It used to happen frequently, but I noticed that I was no longer having the boys. I was no longer feeling any pain. Before, when I examined my breast, there would be lumps all over. I checked, there was nothing like that. So I knew that God had done something up until now, May. I no longer feel pains. I no longer feel all the symptoms I used to feel. And also, this is a two-in-one miracle because during my finals, the pain became very severe and I had to relapse with my academics. And right from time, I had been challenged that I didn't want the eating to take glory where I am. I want God to be glorified anywhere I am. So it helped me. I Right from my other level, I put in my best and God helped me to be the best in the department. But as a result of that, I gave up on hope, I gave up and I felt I was going to die after all. There was no point trying. So I didn't write the final exams well. I didn't write them well. But it was until after the exam I realized what I had done and I asked God for forgiveness because it was beyond me. It was about the kingdom of God, it was about God's glory. So I had to ask God for forgiveness. And it was close to that time we went for Impact 2.0. I prayed, we finished the exam September, so impact was October. So I told God, I told God to intervene. I told, I told God to work out a miracle because with what I had done, it was obvious that I was not going to retain that position in the department. So I told God to show mercy and to help me, to help me to excel. I kept praying. That was my major prayer through impact 2.0. And to God's glory, God did it. Although before we left in part, I had the credible source. Congratulations, you, you are the graduate, best graduate student in your department. But I didn't believe it. I felt <laughs> maybe it was probably not for me. Or probably at some point, they would discover there was a result they didn't add, and it was all a mistake. So I kept trusting God and praying that probably when the final results come out, then I would know that God had done something. And this year, when the final results, the compilations came out, the official results from the school, God did it. He made me to be the best graduate student of the department to his own glory. I'm so grateful to God. And also the pains I used to feel, everything has vanished. I no longer feel pains any longer. Praise the Lord. We now return back to the moderating pastor at the Alpha location. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's, let's, let's have orchestra now. Let's celebrate with the orchestra, please. I told you the Lord has done so many things during this period of celebration and all the while the, this global to set has been going on. We have a lot of testimonies tonight. Be patient. 
and we will listen and glorify God in Jesus' name. Let's have more, more coming from the social media because things are happening everywhere. Things are happening everywhere. Social media, please. My name is Deborah Momo. I was having uh, pains in my hands over 21 years. So I've been visiting many hospitals. The last one I went, the uh, uh, endoscope lab that did me said that I have hole in the heart, which had been disturbing me. It caused me a lot of things. I cannot do any strong thing. The case of the woman with hole in the heart, yes, is one of the uh, septal, either atrial or ventricular septal diseases. Usually a congenital kind of disease. Sometimes it can manifest in adults. So, and it's something that requires, you know, requires surgery if it's presented with symptoms. We listen to her that she was presented with shortness of breath on a mild exertion and breathlessness and weakness. So, all those things that she was doing, it could, um, it, could, it could lead to death, actually. And it makes life very uncomfortable to the patient. But I have been praying, believing God, that one day God will see me through. On December 2021, during this UK, with our WF Kumoy, God now remembered me. So after the prayer of man of God, I didn't remember it again. So as, uh, as I, I, I was preparing for December retreat that year, one spirit now said, how about that problem? I believe to look for it. I do not see it again. Like now, I can jump up. So I want to thank God who delivered me. And also I thank God for our, uh, our daddy in the Lord, GS, our WF Kumui. I pray that God will keep him for us in Jesus' name. is doing great things in the media. And we still have more testimonies coming online right now. My name is Akban Nkeruem. I have been doing a periodic medical exam and then uh, one of the tests I've not been doing is colonoscopy. And so this last year, I was scheduled to do the colonoscopy. After the test, uh, the doctor told me what he saw in the system, he saw a growth that they call polyps. And they had num the number he saw, he had not seen in his medical history. He saw over 50 polyps. When a patient is confirmed having uh, polyp or growth, uh, they are not seem to have to resolve on their own. I've not seen of any case that resolve on their own when there is polyp. So except they are removed, there is no any other means by which they can be, uh, the cases can be cured or resolved because it doesn't resolve on its own. December GCK was very close and I knew that as soon as I present that result, by the grace of God in that person, our Father and the Lord press on it, I knew that I'm going to get healing. And so I went, I delayed going to see the, to the cancer center and went back waiting for that uh, December GCK. Then during the December GCK, by the grace of God, I participated, attended all through, I found the Lord prayed and mentioned the cancer, mentioned everything. And I believe at the end of the day that something has taken place. So I went back home. The following week, I went to the cancer center. I met the doctor, the doctor checked the result and told me what it would take for the operation, told me the procedure. But I told him, please, can you repeat all the tests all over again? He repeated the test, and when I came to discuss on the result, he told me that uh, he did not know what happened. He has called other consultants. They have looked at the result. They can't say what happened. But what they can say, what all of them came to conclude is that two things would have happened. either. The specialist that did colonoscopy before I brought the result gave me somebody's result. Or all of them will come together and worship my God because they have not seen that before. And so upon that, he now said, go and repeat. He now gave me, I should go and do to further confirm. Additionally, he wrote another about 10 other tests. I went to do it. 
got in touch with him for the results and he told me, uh, please, everything is clear in your system. So I want to really bless the Lord because God answers prayers. And whatever it is, wherever you are, Praise let us broadcast Lord. it. Let us tell other people that God are dying great. that something and is happening. And to be they do the Lord die silent. Wonders and that the Lord is doing what he has in the social me media as he's doing it in the physical audience. The Lord be praised. Let us celebrate. Let's celebrate again. Uh, let's let the quiet. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. <laughs> is still doing it in several other places and he's also doing it here we'll continue to listen to what god is still doing in different different places online let's hear more of the testimonies what god is doing it was very very hard for me to breathe and to sleep so my daughter took me to the to test this is a malaria typhus, which I went for the, uh, the treatment. Then I started feeling swell of it. I see swell of all over my body. Whole, every part of my body was just very, very big. They advised me to go to a heart test, which I go to a heart test. They say one part of my heart is working, the other side is not functioning well. Heart failure is a condition in which the heart does not function efficiently. And over time, we found out that their, their legs can be swelling. And not even the legs alone, all the body. It's important to have a way of managing effectively at the start, not prolonging the management. Because the, the more the time uh, that is wasted, the longer the effect on the, on the organs of the body. They described uh, some drugs for me. So at that time, the program this program was just going on. The last day of the program, I said, oh God, I know today is the last day. Today will be my delivering day. I will be free from this sickness today. My name is Ati Nicholas, a wife to Mr. Nicholas. When the pastor wants to come up to pray for the church, he now called the people that are connecting with radio, I connect. After the man of God pray, he said we should lay our hand for where we have the problem. So I lay my hand on my heart. After the fan, I am We left to the house. But the following morning, so I see that every part of my body is free. In fact, God did a wonderful thing. I first of all used my touch to look at his leg. Everything was totally dried. So I don't feel anything again. Even the swallow leg, everything gone. So I keep God in glory. We get back to the moderating pastor. Praise the Lord. We, 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 we have many testimonies, what God is doing tonight. And as, they, as, they, as people are sharing their testimonies, you still need to keep checking up because the Lord has also done your own. You will testify in Jesus' name. Now we will be having a testimony from the Alpha location here. And as you listen to these testimonies, be, be rest assured that you will not leave this place tonight without giving your own testimony in Jesus' name. Because the same God that is doing it in different locations, the same God is doing it here. And as you listen to those 
who have received from the Lord here, the Lord is already, in fact, your own has taken place already. People are coming out, giving their testimonies. Make sure that you also share your testimony and the Lord will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Now, we listen to a testimony from here, the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Abimola Gumbi. And I attend, I attend um, church. I'm a member of different life. I attend um, um, Surinere. Uh, Deeper Life Bible Church. But what brought me here this evening? The, uh, I, I, went, I had this uh, 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 problem since uh, nine years. When I got the uh, the, the, the I, I <laughs> praise the Lord, praise Jesus. The first time I wanted to come, the 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 the, the, the pain did not go, and I the, the coordinator, the, the pastor of my church, he came to our house when he. He prayed to, uh, together with me. Sister, please just tell us exactly what the Lord has done. Just okay, go straight okay, to the point okay, what God has done. Okay, okay. And the Lord, uh, after uh, uh, that time, the... the, the okay, uh, you, you know, sometimes <laughs> when one, one, one uh, is trying to express herself, uh, uh, and just tell us exactly what the Lord has done. Please. What the Lord did, hmm. the, the, time, uh, the time this crusade started, this one we are, uh, we are having. All right, thank you. God bless on you. On Saturday, this Saturday, as I was watching the, uh, the program on TV, I had the, so many messages, I mean, uh, of uh, the, the brethren, just tell us what happened at that moment. So, the, when I heard this, the, the, the message, I, I said, when God can do this to this woman, what about me? And I started on Sunday morning. I said, I must come to Bar Bar All right, Bar Thank you. Let's hear. Let's, let's hear. <laughs> were, were you saved or were you healed? <laughs> were you? So, uh, when I came, I said, when I come, I will attend the meeting. It's all right. But the, the last time, Sunday I came. The Thank evening, you. Thank you. God bless you. The, so the, we'll hear you, uh, we'll uh, hear you more clearly uh, next time. The, the next book. person, please. The next testimony, please. Praise the Lord. She has a stroke for nine years. After the prayer of the man of God, she's doing better now. She'll be able to speak little by little. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord that has changed her situation, made it possible for her to be able to at least speak now. He, will do, he has done your own also, and you give testimony in Jesus' name. Let's have another testimony now from Alpha Location here. Praise the Lord. Bread and praise the Lord. Ah, I don't know where to start from, but I believe God will put words in my mouth. I was in the children's church before. Let me, let me start like this. I was, I was born again before, but... Um, I actually backslided. So I was in the children's church then. I do want that for God. I do a lot of things for God. There is nothing I don't do for God. God, even then, God used me to do a lot of things. 
Then at GCK at Ikorodu, God touched my life. I don't. I always want to come back, but I don't know. But God touched my life, and I know I can do it. So since then, I've been talking to God. I said, God, I know you've not done it, but I believe you can do it. After that, but now, to cut the long story short, now, to cut the long story short, me that cannot fast before, I started fasting. Me that cannot fast before, I started fasting. Me that can't fast before, I started fasting. Me that can't preach before, I started preaching. God has used me to God talk to many you. people, and I believe Praise God has inspired me. The Lord has totally transformed her life. God bless you. Keep what the Lord has done for you. And uh, all those of us who have received from the Lord, give testimony so that the Lord will be glorified, and your testimonies will remain with you in Jesus' name. Please, choir, can you uh, give us uh, some celebration songs? Let's celebrate together with the choir while we are waiting for other testimonies still coming. testimonies of what God has done in various places. Let's hear more testimonies online, please. My name is Babajide Isiaka. Sometimes 2009, I was having pain in my abdomen. No, no. And I went to the hospital. I was told to go for tests, and they scanned my abdomen. The result came out, and I was told I had stone in my gallbladder. Gallbladder stone is formation of stone in the gallbladder. Gallbladder is just like a little cystic area around the liver that contains the bile. It's usually coming with excruciating pain. The pain became severe. I went to the hospital. And test was carried out on me. I was told that even the stone in my gallbladder has increased in size. And the GCK was coming, December edition. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, while he was praying, he said, lay your hand where you have challenges. Place up your hand, you need a miracle, and lay your hand where you have the problem. I lay my hand on my stomach. And he prayed. After that prayer, I felt pain no more. I got home, told my wife, the pain is gone. Because I've been billed for operation. And they told me to come for the operation. And I was told that I would pay 800000 But that morning, I decided to go for another test on my own, to go to a bigger lab. I did it, they gave me the, the result. The doctor said they cannot find any stone in my gallbladder anymore. That is how 30 years of gallbladder stone disappeared just at the prayer of Pastor W.F. Kumoi. Praise the Lord. From the GS official Facebook page, Elizabeth Adyasa testified 
of God's faithfulness in our life. Sometimes ago, she said, I had body itching, especially after taking my bath. At the time, they told me it was infection, but I received my miracle at one of the GCK with Kumui. I want to return all the glory to God. Indeed, he is a faithful God. Another from the GS official page, Facebook page, Elise is a Bilade Miriam. Praise the Lord. I have been having knee pain, but now the pain had gone. Praise the Lord for healing me. Praise the Lord with them. We now return to the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. Tonight is celebration night. I said tonight is celebration night. And because of that, we are going to have a wonderful session as the choir gives another moment of wonders so that we celebrate together what God has done these two years. It is celebration time. Because we have open doors, we must put on, you must put on the garments of praise for the spirits of heaviness. Lift up. Your voice to God. 
Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet, and as you rise on your feet, you are putting your hands together for the Lord Jesus for the things he has done. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ for what he has done. No more spirit of heaviness. It is now garments of praise. Praise the Lord. From today, everybody that see you will see the praises of the Almighty God. And we will keep celebrating the Lord the rest of our lives in Jesus' name. We are now going to pray together as we close the meeting tonight. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much tonight for the things you have done. Thank you for what you have done in the lives of people globally 
from day one of this celebration, you have saved souls, you have established believers, you have healed sicknesses, you have removed calamities, you have delivered the afflicted, you have turned away sorrow. Accept our praises in Jesus' name. We want to thank you for the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Lord, we thank you for your grace and strength in his life. We can truly say, as his days, so are his strength. Father, we pray that your hand will continue to rest upon him more and more in Jesus' name. As he prepares for the next global crusade, we pray that your hand will be revealed upon his life more than ever before in Jesus' name. We are asking, oh God, that all that have testified of the things you have done, you grant us the grace to spread the news abroad so that more people will hear and will receive from you. As we go tonight, we are praying, O oh Lord, that you take all of us back to our respective destinations in Jesus' name. And we pray that, Lord God, those who have surrendered their lives to Jesus Christ, they will continue in the Lord. And eventually the purpose of doing all these things in our lives